Imagine something so small that you barely notice it. Yet it can bring a grown adult to their knees, cause intense pain, even death, and survive in some of the harshest places on earth. This isn't some monster from a sci-fi movie. This is real. This is nature. And we're talking about ants. Not the harmless ones you see at a picnic. Today you'll meet the deadliest ants on the planet. Creatures that use chemical warfare, raw aggression, and hive mind strategy to dominate the ecosystems they invade. Stick around, because you're about to see a side of ants you've never imagined. And before we dive deep into this world of stings, swarms, and survival, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and drop a comment telling us, which deadly insect do you fear the most? Let's get into it. When we think of dangerous animals, we usually picture lions, sharks, snakes, but rarely do we think of ants. They're tiny. Seemingly insignificant. But some species have evolved into biological weapons. They don't just bite, they sting with venom, attack in coordinated groups, and some can even kill large animals just by overwhelming them. It's not the size that matters in nature, it's the strategy. Let's start with one of the most infamous, the bullet ant. Found in the rainforests of Central and South America, especially in countries like Nicaragua, Honduras and Paraguay, this ant has the single most painful sting of any insect in the world. Don't take our word for it, this has been tested and confirmed by scientists using the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, a scale created by entomologist Justin O. Schmidt. The bullet ant sits right at the top. A sting from this ant feels, according to Schmidt, like walking over flaming charcoal with a 3-inch nail embedded in your heel. The pain can last for 24 hours, accompanied by shaking, sweating, nausea, and temporary paralysis. And no, there's no anti-venom. Just raw suffering. These ants don't use their sting as a last resort either. They are highly territorial, and if you wander too close to their nest, they will climb up your legs in silence before unleashing coordinated strikes. Some indigenous tribes in Brazil use bullet ants in initiation rituals. Boys must wear gloves filled with these ants for several minutes, and endure hundreds of stings to prove their strength. Most of us can't even handle a bee sting. Can you imagine the psychological damage from a swarm of bullet ants? Next, we head to Australia, home to some of the deadliest creatures on Earth, including the terrifying jack jumper ant. Also known as the Myrmecia palosula, this ant doesn't just sting, it leaps. Using powerful legs, it can jump multiple times its body length while delivering painful and venomous stings. And here's the kicker, its venom is potentially deadly to humans. Unlike most ants, jack jumpers can kill through anaphylactic shock. They are responsible for multiple deaths in Tasmania and Southern Australia, leading to a national allergy immunotherapy program. Yes, an entire public health effort built around one species of ant. Let that sink in. Moving on, we arrive at the world of the safari ant, also called driver ants in Africa. These ants operate differently. Their danger doesn't come from venom, but from sheer numbers and collective behavior. A colony can have up to 20 million individuals, and when they move, it's like a living river of death. Any animal, no matter how large, that can't escape their path gets consumed. They attack with large, blade-like mandibles, slicing skin and meat with terrifying precision. Victims die not from venom, but from massive blood loss or suffocation as ants invade every orifice. They've been known to kill goats, chickens, and occasionally, yes, humans. In some African villages, people leave their homes when a swarm approaches, allowing the ants to pass through and clean out pests, then return after the carnage ends. It's a horrifying form of pest control. Let's not forget the fire ants, found mostly in the southern United States, South America, and increasingly spreading worldwide. These ants are highly aggressive and incredibly invasive. What makes them deadly is their combination of painful stings and swarm tactics. When disturbed, a fire ant colony will attack all at once, delivering venom-laced stings that cause burning, swelling, and in some cases, life-threatening allergic reactions. Their venom contains an alkaloid called solenopsin, which is both toxic and inflammatory. Fire ants have been responsible for dozens of deaths, especially in people who go into anaphylactic shock. They also destroy ecosystems, wiping out native ant species and harming crops and livestock. These ants are not just dangerous, they're environmental terrorists. Now, imagine an ant that enslaves others. That's exactly what the Amazon ant does. Also known as Polyergus, this genus of ants is a true predator, not of animals, but of other ants. 
Amazon ants have evolved to the point where they can't even feed themselves or care for their young. Instead, they raid nearby colonies, steal their larvae, and raise them as slave workers to do all the labor. These raids are fast, brutal, and surgical. Once inside a host colony, the Amazon ants slaughter the defenders, kidnap the babies, and retreat. The captured ants grow up believing they're part of the Amazon colony, and work for their captors without resistance. It's a biological nightmare straight out of a dystopian novel. One of the most nightmarish of all is the Siafu, a subspecies of driver ants. These are the stuff of legend. Known in Swahili folklore and feared by locals, Siafu have a bite so strong it's been used as surgical stitches in emergencies. That's right, when doctors aren't around, some people in rural Africa let Siafu bite the edges of a wound, then twist off the body, leaving the jaws clamped shut like natural staples. But make no mistake, these ants aren't helpful. They are terrifyingly organized. A single colony can devour an entire farm's worth of livestock. They build temporary bridges with their own bodies to cross rivers and gaps. They're not just deadly, they're intelligent. So what makes these ants so lethal compared to others? It's not just poison. It's the combination of strategy, numbers, communication, and the willingness to die for the colony. Ants use pheromones to communicate instantly across thousands of individuals. They can coordinate attacks, defend queens, and mobilize entire armies within seconds. They don't fear death. They live for the colony. And when that colony is a superorganism with millions of members, it becomes a force of nature. But here's the real kicker, most of these ants don't see humans as enemies. We're just obstacles. Or worse, resources. We destroy their habitats, and they adapt. We build cities, and they infiltrate. We try to control them, and they evolve. The more we disturb nature, the more aggressive these creatures become. Fire ants were once confined to parts of South America. Now they're spreading in the US, China, even Australia. It's not just a curiosity, it's a global threat. So after all this, maybe next time you see an ant trail, you'll pause before brushing it away. Maybe you'll remember that some of the world's most dangerous killers don't have claws or fangs, but six legs and a stinger smaller than a pinhead. They're organized. They're strategic. And they're watching. If you made it this far, congratulations. You've survived the gauntlet of Earth's most terrifying ants. But now we want to hear from you.